Yo, 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 and happy Black History Month. Man, we're down to the last leg of this delicious journey with dishes of African-American making. And I realized that like, I kind of unintentionally provided you with almost all the dishes for a three course meal. I mean, we have the peach cobbler, which you can have for dessert. And then you have the swamp water, which you can drink during your entree. And then we have the gumbo, which is an excellent starter. And so this recipe goes perfect along with that gumbo, which is biscuits. So welcome to my kitchen. Let's make some biscuits, but not your plain run-of-the-mill biscuits. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're gonna make cheddar and herb biscuits because, well, we're adults and we can make that call. Now, this recipe is from Food Network's own Gina Neely, and I'm gonna leave a link to the recipe in the description box below so you can refer there for the measurements. All right, so let's get to making. And in a large bowl, we're going to mix the flour, baking powder, salt, sugar, and cayenne pepper. We're just going to mix these together with a whisk just so that everything is well incorporated. And then I'm gonna chop up some chives. As well as some parsley. We're gonna add that to the mix and then to this we're also going to add some sharp cheddar. Then we're just going to pour in some buttermilk. We're stirring this until a dough forms. You can either use a spatula or you can use your hands. Now just make sure that you're keeping an eye on it and you don't want to over mix it because then that'll just make the biscuits hard as rocks. And once that dough is formed, we're gonna use an ice cream scooper. We're gonna scoop out the dough onto the baking tray. Then we're going to brush these with some melted butter. And then these bake for 15 minutes at 350 degrees. Then you just enjoy this deliciousness on a plate or in your gumbo or soup of any kind or however. I hope you get inspiration from my kitchen. Like and subscribe to come back for more and comment below if you're excited to try these cheddar and herb biscuits as well as what soups or gumbo that you'll have them with. You can connect with me on any of my social media listed below. And don't forget to check out the link in the description box for the recipe as well as the measurements. Thank you bunches for being here and I'll catch you back here for more deliciousness.